YouTube's favorite game. What are they mad about now? Otherwise known as Watman. Yes, Watman. <laughs> Let's get into it. I just saw a commercial for a guy that was literally like this guy. Pro-life conservative will keep the radical left from indoctrinating your children in our schools. Like, real life. This, this is real, this is real fucking life. People are gonna vote for that guy. The honest truth is, is he's gonna keep everyone from doing anything with your children in our schools. Because there's not gonna be any fucking teachers there. You can indoctrinate them yourself at home. Sounds great. Sign me up for that. All right, this is What Are They Mad About Now? And I redid the layout. I think this is going to be a better way to do it, because we got to see what people are discussing in case the chat replay doesn't work. <laughs> so if you've never played this game before, I'm going to show you a picture of a crazy person, and I'm going to give you three options in the chat as a poll. And we're going to see what this person's so mad about. They're never good looking, are they? They're just never really good looking. It's really unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Your options are gun control, mask mandates, or Roe v. Wade. Mask mandate came in 40%, gun control 33%, Roe v. Wade 26%. All right, let's see. So all the conservatives coming to my page telling me that we don't have a gun problem in America. It's a mental health crisis. Gun control. Okay. So then, According to you, we should expand access to health care so that these people suffering from mental illness can get the help they need to prevent future massacres, yeah? I have always been in favor uh, of bringing back asylums. So then why is it every time progressives <laughs> try to do that, you shut it down and scream socialism? Well, because you support stupid socialist policies <laughs> when it comes to health care. <laughs> Come on, that one's not hard to figure out, is it, lady? Ah, uh, whatever. She didn't look very smart. Didn't sound very smart. Okay, now on to this beautiful human being. The options will be racism, fat shaming, or transphobia. Everyone cast their vote. Transphobia is coming out on top with 47%. All right. Votes locked in. Let's see what's up. Dear cisgendered women who like to use the argument that trans women are mocking and making fun of womanhood and cisgendered women in order to justify your hatred ignorance and transphobia i need you to come to the front I've transphobia to yeah please i, I love Honey, to hear this i'm sure it's something brilliant trans women and you actually don't think that trans women are making a mockery of womanhood or you as a woman what you're mad at who you're mad at is men oh really you're <laughs> mad at men for making a mockery of you well, yeah, people. isn't that what You're isn't that what that is? Men You're mad at men pretending to be women. So actually, we agree. That's who the fuck you're mad at. But you are not empowered enough to take it out on men. I guess it's just you a different way to say it. Strong enough to take it out on men. So you've targeted <laughs> trans women because that's easy. Trans women are out here trying their best to live their Yeah, I don't know why this person life, always talks like this. Like it, I, they somehow think Trans it makes them sound smarter or more profound or something. I'm not sure. Just like you. Trans women are made fun of, are objectified, are used by cisgendered men just like you. You're not mad at trans women. It's just fucking easier. It makes you feel What are you talking about? To attack 
people who have less of a social societal value than you. It makes you feel powerful. It makes you feel like you're on the other side of the equation. You're not mad at them. You're mad at men. You're mad at men who put on costumes and make fun of the auntie, of the mama, of the great mother, the great grandmother. Wait, so is she pro-trans or anti-trans? Because men who profit off of our images, who profit off of negative stereotypes about us. You're mad if I hadn't patriarchy. watched the like a hundred of this person's videos, I would You're think that this is a troll. Masculinity that continues not not to keep because of the way she looks. Hole. I mean, like you know, a troll account. Mad at, you would know this. If you oh, checked your internalized me. misogyny, you would know this. If you checked your internalized misogyny, you are you would know this. If you sat with this oh and my healed God, and decolonized. Lady. Trans women have never been your enemy. Hey, Gino, Toxic what's up? Thanks for the super chat, brother. White supremacy and colonialism are your enemies. Dude, I know. This just puts me to sleep, man. I mean, it's just like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Conti- just, just finish up, please. <laughs> Come on, man. God. All right. This brilliant looking person. They always, they're always just so... Their appearance is just always, they're just always so attractive, aren't they? Just so, so attractive. (laughs) All right, here we go. The options are racism, cultural appropriation, or homophobia. All right, here we go. Cultural appropriation wins out on that one. Let's see what we got. I will say this one more time. Your Norse ancestors, if you even had any, did not use cornrows, box braids, locks, any of those things. Our hair does not do those things naturally. Nobody's hair braids naturally. What are you talking about? In very, very rare cases, they may have had matting, but not locks. Just because you're a Norse pagan doesn't mean you can trample other people's cultures. That, that end of discussion. Uh, actually, I think that's exactly what that means. <laughs> Historically speaking, a Norse pagan? A Viking? Hell yeah, we go trample other people's culture. What are you talking about? <laughs> what did you think that what do you think the Vikings did? Get out of here. <laughs> is it basic biology? Math is racist or mask mandates? All right, all votes in. 53% say math is racist, which, I mean, we all know it is. Even if she's not mad about it, we all know that it is racist. (laughs) It favors Asians, and that's just not fair. All right, votes locked in. Math is racist comes out on top. Let's see. You know what question really frustrates me? What is a woman? So I wrote a Oh, poem. basic biology. What is a woman? How do you define? Oh, Are we great. the sum of poem. our parts or is it more refined? Must we be feminine or dress all in pink? Is it how we dress and act or how we think? Is it oh, our bodies God. that make us a she? Is it our DNA, our biology? Yet oh, there are women biology. who have See, no, it uterus, there. no breasts who cannot give birth. Do we call them less? So it's not nature, organs, or dress. How do we define what a woman is best? A woman is someone who decides (laughs) who she is. It's not an answer on some imaginary (laughs) quiz. Some women are strong. Some women feel small. Some women are so hurt they feel nothing at all. Some women are alone. Some women are mothers. Oh my God. Some women are vengeful. Some women are lovers. Oh yeah, I actually thought about making the question if Matt Walsh was one of the answers. We don't owe an answer to (laughs) questions asked with a smug grin. We owe no explanation. We aren't here to appease. (laughs) We are women. We will be who we please. Oh, got him. Love and light. Got him. Got him. Man. Killed it. Slay, queen. Slay. (laughs) Misgendering, public restrooms, or microaggressions? 
And yes, again, according to them, these would all be the same thing. All right. Votes. Locked in. Public restrooms is the choice. Let's see. I admire Katie Kirk a lot. I love her. So when oh, Katie I sat Kirk, down cool. at a table in Midtown <laughs> Manhattan a couple of weeks ago next to her, I was starstruck. Okay, the second I recognized her, I just tried to ignore her and not look at her because she deserves to eat at a restaurant without being bothered just like anybody else. But Katie Kirk did come into my space a little bit and will teach us an important lesson about gender and pronouns. My partner and I were there before a show and each ordered a glass of wine. Katie had also ordered a glass of wine moments before us. And so Katie Kirk was a little surprised that the server had stopped by her table, had wine, and didn't give any to her. And so when the server gave me the wine before her, I heard her loudly say, oh, that was his wine i figured it was mine and she said it in a loud sort of way where she was just really teasing the server and trying to make light of the moment then i did not respond when she said this because i do not respond to he or him and so she quickly pivots to oh her seeing me wearing makeup in this dress in another color and i still don't respond because those are not the pronouns i use that oh does my not affirm god me. So then josh I hear her josh her friend, josh and Katie Couric, I love you, and the bigger picture here is really not about you. The long story short, you can't assume a person's gender or the pronouns they use based on their appearance. Police brutality? Roe v. Wade? Or white people? And don't worry, I remember that I can't actually write white people. For some reason it won't let me do that, so it's abbreviated, but we got it. Alright, here we go. Place your votes now. All right, it looks like Roe v. Wade coming in at number one, 67%. All right, votes locked in. Let's see what we got. A little shopping at Ross on my lunch break, and I made a very interesting observation. So oh, I blacked sure. out people's faces that were showing. Um, blacked out their faces? That's a little racist. All these people here, all were wearing their masks. And every single person behind me was wearing a mask. And you can see these two women up front are not wearing masks. Now listen, I'm not judging anyone for wearing a mask or not wearing a mask. I give zero fucks. I'm wearing mine, you do you. But if a survey were to have been taken at the Ross I was just at, this sounds it important. would say that 95% of not white people were wearing the masks, whereas 95% of white people we're not wearing masks. No. This is simply an observation. Absolutely not comparing it to white people colonizing and spreading disease. Not at all. You heard it here first, folks. White people not wearing masks is the same as colonization, spreading disease, smallpox blankets. You know, the whole the whole shebang. All the good stuff. Everything that you were you were told. <laughs> the options are Ron DeSantis. Elon Musk or Ted Cruz? Come on, that's a good one. That's a good one. I, I think this is the toughest one yet, to be honest. All right, votes locked in. Elon Musk, winner by 50%. Let's see. All right, so we're going to have to talk about this Elon Musk situation oh. dropping $44 billion and buying Twitter. I'm talking to my American people right now. This is now. some crazy okay? shit. United Seriously, States listen to America, this. This is some crazy shit. Was your country not created under the auspice of never allowing a king to take over? Is your whole system of government separation of powers at the federal level, separation of powers to individual states so that they and they alone can sort of combat the federal government's imposition on their state status? Is that not what your country is about? And if it is, how? Are you cheering at the notion of one man amassing $300 billion, Dude, able to create his own is the, space force? This is the first time a billionaire has ever owned anything. To purchase the single most significant social media news app on the planet. This is, this is unprecedented. You You're right. That? This you has never like happened. Elon Musk. You might think he's going to bring back free speech, but guys... You are buying into the notion that one man should have that kind of power. That one man. How do you think gets she feels about Washington Post and Jeff what Bezos? Free speech is. You think he's never going to pull anybody off that app? Of course he is. You're just hopeful he agrees with you. That he said he's going to follow the law. He's not going to decide he's going to follow the law. You're worried about a king. 
You've created a system of capitalism in which you've allowed a handful of people, him being at the head, to amass such an incredible fortune that you've created a king. How do you think the first kings took power way back in their inception? Oh, well, they bought it, of course. They pretended as though it was divine right, but they did it by <laughs> amassing power, using the military, using whatever form of currency was of the day to Dude, this show is their just superiority, like Elon Musk. This is the Elon Musk Twitter might. argument. The, this is the equivalent of uh, the uh, right Roe v. Wade You're Handmaid's Tale. You're as though They're, it's a protection it's the of same democracy, logic. <laughs> when in actuality, Elon Musk and people like him are the end of democracy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh 